Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Ming Lu. I'm on the streaming team at Datastax. Today, I'm going to show you an important feature in Pulsar and Astro Streaming, Message Deduplication. If you want to follow along, you don't already have a deployment of Pulsar, you can go to astra.datastacks.com and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go to the entire Pulsar team here at Datastacks. We have lots of Pulsar experts that will be happy to help answer any questions you may have or help you with any Pulsar problems you may be experiencing. We hope to hear from you. Message deduplication. On the consumer or the reader side, the message ID is used to process the message atomically. Data can be read or processed multiple times, but the effects of data processing can only be applied once. So in this video, I'm focusing on the message deduplication on the producer side. Why message dedupe is needed? When a client produces messages, an error can occur to disrupt production, transmission, or the reception of a message. An, an example can be a network connection failure. This is often called a network partition in the distributed computing world. To avoid a message loss upon recovery of failure, the producer often resend messages if they have not received acknowledgement from the broker. This requires producing message to be idempotent. So the message dedupe is a requirement of idempotent producers. If a producer sends the same message multiple times, there should be only one message to be recognized by the broker, or the message can only be persisted once by Pulsar. I have often met users with misunderstanding about message deduplication. We're going to clarify these misperceptions. It is not about message content deduplication. So it is not to deduplicate messages with the same payload, nor to deduplicate messages with the same key or properties. If a producer calls send method to send multiple messages with the same payload, these are different messages registered in Pulsar. They are not in the scope of Pulsar message deduplication. If you're looking for message payload dedupe, Pulsar needs to be integrated with other system. You might want to consider hash the payload, register the hash in a lookup map somewhere, dedupe based on the hash. To prevent duplicate messages, each uniquely produced message must be identified by brokers. The broker requires two pieces of information for identification. They are producer name and sequence ID. Since the broker owns the topic, it maintains an in-memory hash map that tracks the last sequence ID of a producer for the topic. The sequence ID is initialized as zero. It increments for every message sent by the producer. The broker discards the message with sequence ID lower than the last sequence ID under the same producer name. This covers cases when producers resend duplicated messages after recovery of network failure. Producer name and last sequence ID is not only cached in the broker's memory, it is also stored as a meta entry alongside of the data. The broker periodically snapshots the last sequence ID. It is useful to reconstruct the same in-memory map of producer and sequence ID from a broker crash. The next broker who owns the topic is able to read the latest message with the sequence ID to reconstruct this in-memory map. If the producer resends any messages with a lower sequence ID, the new broker can detect these duplicates and ignore them. When a client recovers from its crash, it can publish a message with a previous sequence ID. It needs to call the getLastSequenceID method to get the last sequence ID. Since message dedupe requires additional resource on the broker side, this feature needs to be enabled in Azure Streaming by user. To enable message dedupe, you can run Pulsar admin command. To disable or enable such feature at the namespace level, here are the command examples on the screen. Remember, Azure Streaming already has client.conf ready for download. Here is an example how a producer provides name and a sequence ID to enable Pulsar broker for message dedupe. Pulsar client can automatically assign a random producer name if it's missing, but you need to set a producer name if the same producer needs to be restarted or redeployed. Please note, the name has to be unique across the entire cluster. You can also get the last sequence ID and set to the new producer if it's redeployed. You have learned the basics of message dedu, how to enable this feature and the producer setup. You can go ahead and try this feature. Don't forget, 
subscribe to our channel, click the like button, happy streaming.